La Taco Tuesday, La Taco Tuesday. On a Saturday afternoon, La Taco Tuesday, La Taco Tuesday. On a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yes, it's Saturday afternoon. I've just done my my um pudding Saturday because it's Saturday, Saturday pudding Saturday, Saturday. So make sure that you scroll around, have a look for that video. I'm going to show you how I do my Taco Tuesdays. I'm going to use turkey mince and lentils. I'm not going to touch a stovetop at all. Thank you very much. No more slaving over a stovetop. No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brown my mince in the Micro Pro Grill. This is the Tupperware Grill. It's a fry pan that goes into the microwave. It's an oven, it's a, st a stove top, it's an under the grill, it's a toaster, it's a sandwich press that all goes into the microwave. It's a barbecue that goes into the microwave, right? So, yes, it's stainless steel, yes, it's totally safe. This is the casserole position or the oven position. So if you're doing potato bake or scones or chocolate cake or omelettes, Leave it in the casserole position. A quarter of a turn pops it into the grill position. So now you're doing your rissoles, your chops, your steak, your sausages, your crispy skin salmon, your blackened capsicum, roasted pumpkin, asparagus and veggies. Um, like, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to brown my mints in this. Actually, when I took this, I took this to Sydney. I went to Sydney for a week. I took it with me. While everybody else was eating KFC and Maccas, you know what I was doing? Smoked salmon, or a salmon steak, and um, roast veggies in the microwave. 15 minutes. It's not microwaving, it's grilling. Because what happens is, underneath here, see where all the instructions are when you lose the instruction booklet? Underneath there, there's a transformer. Underneath here, where the handle is, that's a transformer too. It absorbs all of the energy, converts it over to heat energy. It heats up this and this to 220 degrees. So when you do have it in the grill position, it's like a double-sided sandwich press. It's like a, you can do a ham cheese toasty in here. You can do everything, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you. I've got my supersonic chopper, but I prefer, before I do that, I know I'm all over the place. I've just done Pudding Saturday, so I've just had a Wheat Bix condensed milk dried apricot ball. It's just been delicious, right? I've got some turkey mince that I've just been defrosting. I've just noticed there's a little bit of juice in there. So I'm just going to just drain that excess juice off. Okay. There's always going to be someone saying, did you wash your hands? Yes, I did. <laughs> We're going to pop that straight into there, right? Grab that little paper bit. That's going to pop straight into the bin. So there's our turkey mince. 500 grams it was, right? Then in here, this is the supersonic chopper. Your blades, you pop that straight into there. Please respect the fill line. You must respect the fill line. Otherwise, <laughs> the cord might pull out when you pull it for the first go. Did you see that video? All right, so what we're going to do is, in here, I've got an onion. This is my onion keeper. I did peel it and I just briefly chopped it. So I've just got, I've just popped this into quarters. I'm going to pop that straight into here. I do have my, this is the garlic keeper. And I always keep, oh, there's a bit of, I keep my garlic press in with the garlic keeper so you don't have to keep running around the kitchen for it, right? Because this is all in one piece. This will trim the edge of your garlic. It will crush your garlic. It will peel your garlic. And it will mince your garlic all in the one. And it's a herb stripperer. So if you grab your thyme, rosemary, oregano, you pop your stem through there depending on the thickness. And then you pull that out and all of the leaves get kept in here. Like you put it in that way. So you pull it out that way and all the leaves stay up in here of all your herbs. How awesome is that? So all we're going to do is, let me just show you. You grab the end, see the end of your, your garlic? You just pop this, turn it around this way, pop it the right way. Grab your garlic, you pop that straight into there. That just trims the end off. See how that just trims the end off there, right? So then what you do is you just pop that into there. We're going to pop this down. Now look at this. See this bumpy bit? That goes over here. You crush it, right? That skin literally just now peels straight off. There's your garlic skin peeled off. There's your garlic clove. And you can then just pop that straight into here. You mince it. 
There's your minced garlic. How awesome is that? I don't know why I did that because I'm going to pop it into the chopper, right? So we're going to pop that straight in. I just wanted to show you how that works. There is nothing better than fresh garlic. Um, it's all, you know, I was just ch chatting earlier about the additives they add into food. I'm not, use, I'm not eating any preservatives when I eat garlic. I know I'm eating fresh 100% garlic, right? So we're going to just do this. Let's just do it again because I like garlic. We'll just show you, right? So we're just going to pop this straight into here. We're going to grab a... we pop that. There we go. That pop there. You just peel that. Right? Really easy to clean. Right? There's your other clove of garlic. Pop that straight into there and away you go. So there's our onion. There's our garlic. We are going to just... I'm going to add in my herbs with all of this. I've got my sweet paprika. And I'm just going to, that's just going to sweeten things up a little bit. We'll do a couple of teaspoons of that. I've got some mixed herbs. And we'll just throw that a couple of tablespoons of that or a tablespoon or two. I've got my taco seasoning. The Taco Tuesday, the Taco Tuesday. Oh, a couple of lumps in there. That's okay. It'll all come out in the wash. Not a problem. We're going to pop this straight into here. And away we go. That's ten pulls of the cord. Right, we're just going to pop that in upside down, Miss Jane. There is our onion, our garlic, and our herbs. Can you chop it any finer with a knife in that amount of time? I love the supersonic chopper. We will grab our Tupperware spatula, and we will just grab the spatula. We will pop that straight into here, and we'll just get rid of all of that. We're just going to brown this off. I'm not, I really don't like slaving over a stove top, right? So we're just going to pop that straight into here. The micro, is going to, micro Pro Grill will do it all. It will contain all of the splatter on the inside of the grill. You don't have to clean your microwave. You don't have to clean your stove top. You don't have to clean your splashback. You don't have to clean nothing other than this non-stick Micro Pro Grill. Did I just say nothing? Sorry about that. All right, so what we'll do is we will just push this down. Right, here we go. And you know what I'm gonna do? I've just realized, I almost forgot. In my double colander, this is the heat resistant colander with feet. So if you are cleaning the budgie cage, you just pop the budgie into here, sit it on the bench top and the air holes let it breathe and you can pop it underneath the tap, give it a bit of a rinse. I've got my tin of lentils. I'm just gonna pop that straight into there and we will grab our spatula we we'll just pop that straight into there. So we're going to cook our lentils, our mint, our onion and garlic with all of that seasoning and herbs. I'm going to pop that into the grill position, squash it down. I'm going to move the onion and garlic out of the way. I'm going to pop this straight into here for nine minutes, which is probably, I probably could get away with just doing it for seven minutes, but I'm going to pop it in for nine minutes. While that's in there, right? You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to just show you how oh, I've got my Tupperware Vent Smart. These are the ones, you know these, they make your fruits and veggies last forever, right? Carrots will last for like 10, 12 weeks. Tomatoes will last for like 6, 8, 10 weeks in here, right? So I'm going to, in here, I've got some tomatoes. Let me just grab my Tupperware chopping mat. I've just got some tomatoes. Let's grab our knife. And I'm just going to grab the end out of there. I'm just going to chop this into chunks. I'm going to pop my tomato into here. Actually, I'll just give this a wash. It's great with your um, veggies. When you are storing them, it is really good to store them dirty. Store them dirty. Don't wash them and put them in here. Just store them dirty. They will last a little bit longer. They're, they're a little bit like people. We like a little bit of ourselves in with the container for us to last a little longer, right? Fruits and veggies are exactly the same. So I'm just going to slice this end off. I'm going to chop this into chunks. And we are going to pop that straight into there. I've got a chilli. Let me just wash this. I should have washed this beforehand just to save. So I've got a green chilli. Now, I don't mind a bit of kick. I get a kick out of chilli. I'm just going to, seeds and all. If you don't like the seeds, don't pop the seeds in. I've got this whole chilli. That's going to be fairly mild. So I've got that chilli into there. That's going to go into my scrap collector. Let's move this out of the way. And we will just give this a bit of a... 
If you have red onion, you could pop some red onion in there. You want some parsley or thyme, fresh herbs in there. Just do that in there as well. That's going to be really delicious. And just a few pulls of the cord. And I'm going to now, let me move this out of the way. You know your Tupperware clear mates? So these are the ones, when you're not using them, you pop them in the fridge. So that way, when you come home from the shop, you're putting cold food into a cold container, whether it's deli hams or cheeses or olives or antipastos or um, a barbecue chicken or leftovers. You just pop it straight into the fridge. Now, <coughs> that chilli, just let me, <coughs> I'm breathing in chilli fumes from there, right? You can take these straight to the deli. I take them to the deli and to the butcher. They pop them on the scales and they zero them out. And I just say, can you put a kilo of that beef mince in there? See that champagne leg ham, pop that into there. Um, you know, feta cheese, ricotta cheese. And that way you can bring them home without bringing home any single use waste. All right, so what we're doing is I've got my tomato. So let's just grab this. We will grab a, another Tupperware. Oh, let's just grab one of these. Can't find my other spatula. So we'll just grab the Tupperware. The scoop, the little serving spoon. And we'll pop that straight into there, right? So that way, if there's anything left over, you can just seal that and pop that straight into the fridge, all right? So there's my, there's my tomato, right? What we will do in here now, we will also, I'm just gonna use the same container. I've got a carrot that I'm not gonna bother peeling. I'm even gonna use the end bit. Watch this, you ready? This thing will save you so much time in the kitchen. Actually, let's do another one. We'll do a bit of meal prep while we're here, right? Grab some carrot. There we go. Vitamin A. All the nutrients are in the skin. Don't peel that and throw that away. And if you like to grate your fingers while you're grating your carrot, by all means, use a grater. <laughs> I really like to keep the skin on my knuckles, right? So, there we go. Can you see this? If you're making a carrot cake or something like that, there's our grated carrot. And we're going to just grab our Tupperware clear, mate. Pop that straight into here. Move that, top, um, that bench out of the way. Here we go. And we will just throw in... The idea though, right? There's our carrot, and then if I've got anything left over, I can do salad wraps throughout the week. I've got my tomato and chili, I've got my grated carrot. I'm now going to just let me show you how I do my cheese because what's a taco without cheese, right? And I buy my cheese by the kilo and I pop it in my large clear mate in my fridge. This can stay fresh for up to 10 weeks. Remember, Tupperware becomes your packaging. You don't, have you ever grabbed, do you put uh, like alfoil over your end of your cheese or do you wrap the packet back over there and grab some sandwich wrap that you've spent good money on and then it ends up in landfill and then you have to slice off the dry bit at, at the end anyway. Cheese is expensive. I never waste any cheese. And I've got that into here, right? So what we're gonna do is, let me show you. Now, if, you, if you've got the, the big chopper, that will work, absolutely. But you know, you can also do everything in the small chopper with a smaller quantity. I've got a few of these. I've got one for nuts and berries. I've got another one for ginger, turmeric, onion and garlic. I've got one for my herbs, sunflower seeds, all those sorts of things. This in here, it's got your three blades. Um, the top one is a winged blade to push all the food down. This middle one is a winged blade to push all of the food down. And this bottom blade is a flat bottom blade that collects everything at the bottom. Um, and because it's a flat bottom blade, everybody knows, flat bottom blades, they make the rocking world go round, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit of jingle to help you remember. You pop that into there, you grab your cheese. Where's the cheese? Grab this and we're just going to chop off a chunk Right, and we'll pop that back into our Tupperware Clearmate container. And we will just pop this into chunks. The colder the cheese, the easier it is. You know how like the colder the cream, the quicker the whip? 
the colder the cheese, the easier it is to chop or to grate. Now, if you like grating, by all means, grate. I prefer not to grate because, like, you know, oh, pop that into there. I like to keep the skin on my fingers, right? So there's our just a little chop, uh, chunky, our chopped chunky cheese. Say that three times fast. There's your anti-slip grip on the bottom of them. And this is exactly the same top as the top of the big supersonic chopper, right? So well, all you have to do on the bench top and, oh, no, please, please let this, everybody breathe in. <laughs> all right, we've got, I've probably overfilled it, truth be told, right? There we go. And we will just type up the other side. And there, grab our other clear mate. Look at this. There's our cheese. No anti-caking agent for me. We were just saying earlier, when you buy grated cheese that's already grated in the shops, not only is it like over half, over twice the price of normal block cheese, but they put an anti-caking agent in it. Now, some people are saying that's a natural ingredient. If it's got a number listed in the ingredients, that's not natural. <laughs> Please don't ingest that. Just grate your cheese, right? So you've got the cheese into there, right? And then, you know your um, bags of spinach? They're already pre-washed. I've got my bag of leafy greens. That was already pre-washed. Um, this will last in my Ventsmark container for about two or three weeks. Normally, if you keep it in the plastic bag, it's going to last for, what, three, four, five days if you're lucky before the bottom goes all slimy, you've got to chuck it. This will extend that life three to five times longer. So you can leave your vents, you can leave your salads in here or you can grab your Tupperware Square Clearmate container, pop that into there and then you can add in if there's any leftover tomato, cucumber, chilli, you can pop that into there. There's a quick salad that you can take to work or lunch or to school. You can seal this. If you want it to be liquid tight, because that's airtight, but if you want it to not leak, these Clearmates are the only straight-sided container on the market anywhere that I know of that once you express the air out of there, do that little polite burp, that will not leak. Now, see how the seal's gone like, is it concave? That won't leak. You can pop that in your drinks esky and the drinks water's not going to get into your lettuce. You can have beetroot in here. Your beetroot juice isn't going to get into your drink, into your, your esky water, right? So how cool is that? So we'll just pop that. We'll pop that away over here. We've got all of this happening here. What have we got? Oh, my goodness. It's all go, 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 let me tell you. How come we've got an extra seal? Oh, that's for the cheese. All right. Where's the cheese? We pop this over here. Then what we're going to do... Oh, what fun! Let me show you how I do my mince. We've got... This is my mince. Remember, I did lentils, onion and garlic. Luckily, Tupperware do eco cloths. I'm just going to remove that off here, right? And I'm going to put this away over here. Then what I'm going to do is... I've got carrot in here, but I'm not going to wash it out. I'm just going to leave that in there, right? What we're going to do is... Grab our Tupperware serving spoon. Can I show you what this looks like? So that's just got, that's basically just, I didn't add anything to that. No liquid, no water, no oil. It's just turkey mince, a tin of lentils, an onion and, was it two cloves of garlic? One of those cloves was pretty big though. So all I'm going to do is, you can slice this up. You just pop this straight into here, look. Just pour it straight into here. This is our mince, our garlic, our onion, and our lentils. Now it doesn't look like mince. So I always run it through the supersonic chopper so that it looks like mince again, right? And we will just, again, I've probably, I've way overfilled it. So please everybody <laughs> say a little prayer. Hopefully it works, all right? So what we're gonna do, <laughs> I probably, I've probably overfilled it. So. Do not do this at home. <laughs> there is a fill line. Please respect the fill line. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Hopefully it doesn't break. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, 
All right, you ready? Oh, put your, everybody hold your tongue right. Breathe in properly, right? That's five pulls of the cord. Upside down, Miss Jane. Grab your Tupperware clear, mate. And now it looks like proper browned mints that we've done on the stove top. Can you see that? It's got our herbs, it's got our spices, it's got our onion, it's got our garlic. Then what we're gonna do, oh, I should have done this before. Let me just move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. We grab our tacos that we had left over from, this was from about a month ago, two months ago when I did a Taco Tuesday. I've got three tacos in here. I'm gonna leave that little cardboard bit into there. I'm not gonna pop this in the oven. Like, I don't want my oven on for, you know, just to do three tacos, thank you very much. We just grab our Micro Pro grill. You pop your tacos straight into there. <laughs> Stick it into, actually, you know what we are gonna do? Pop that that way. We're gonna pop this into here, into the casserole position or the oven position. And then we're popping that into there. Now that's a cold grill. If we were popping it in a hot grill, I'd only pop it in for maybe one and a half, two minutes. It's a cold grill. So I'm gonna pop that in for, oh, I don't know, three minutes. We're gonna pull that out. I'm now gonna serve that, I've got that, my mints over there. I've got my grated cheese, good to go. I've got my grated carrot, good to go. I've got my tomato and chili, good to go. And I've got my greens, I'm good to go. I'm gonna grab a dollop of sweet chili sauce. If I had sour cream, that would be delicious as well. If you've got any questions or suggestions, let me know. I probably won't get back to you until I've eaten this though because I'm a little bit hungry, right? <laughs> Please let me know. And um, I'm more than happy to help. Let me know where you're watching from. I always love knowing where people are watching from. And if you've got a piece of Tupperware you wanna know more about, please ask me because chances are I've got it. And if I don't have it, then I've probably sold a piece of it in the last almost 30 years that I've been selling Tupperware, all right? Now, put a smile on your dial and everybody, Forget your troubles and get happy, dance your cares away, shout out and get happy, I'll cook for you another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching everybody, bye bye, see you later, bye.